What's up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Big Vic TV. Of course, I am your host, Big Vic. I want to get right into today's episode, and it relates to a Facebook message I received from one of my subscribers, Major Scales Music. Shout out to him. He said he was sitting down with a Grammy-winning producer, and this is the advice that was given to him in terms of producing music. He was told in a nutshell, don't make the music you want to make. Put it to the side and focus your time and energy on making industry standard music. Get your instrumentals to sound like Drake's or MMG if you want to do hip hop. Then you'll sell music. And when you start selling music and have credibility, you can start pushing your own style. Now, so my thoughts on that are this. Just going out blatantly copying what you hear other producers making, it may get you a placement in the short term, but when it comes to longevity, I can't think of one legendary producer who has had lasting success in the music industry by copying what they heard other producers making. But what they did do is produce music for their own artists and projects with their own sound. And once those projects were signed with labels and became successful, other artists wanted that sound on their records. So, now you have, you know, you got a lot of these new producers who had just a little buzz. You know, they may be lasting a year or two with, with their copy and paste formulas that are not sustaining them in the long run. So, my advice would be to continue to craft your own sound. Get you an artist that's hot and put the music out there. Build up that following. You know, don't get sucked into the thought that you have to do what other what, what every other producer is doing out there. You know, there are more than enough music lovers all over the world that listen to various kinds of music. So, you know, and, and like I said, artists reach out to me because they're searching for something different. You know, if you're looking to make a living from your music as a producer, I would highly recommend creating your own signature sound. You know, even if you borrow someone else's formula, you know, sprinkle your own flavor and seasonings on the music like I mentioned, you know, in my previous drum patterns video. So, um, look, there's a new producer being born every minute a computer is sold. So if you're going to get in the game and take it as a serious career, you, have, you know, you, you better be creating your own signature sound. Otherwise, you're wasting time or you're just having fun. There's nothing wrong with having fun. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up today's episode, people. If this video helped you, y'all give me a thumbs up. If it helped give you more clarity and got you thinking on which direction makes more sense for you to take, you know, give me that thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for tuning in and hanging out with your boy. Until we meet again, I'm thankful and grateful for you guys. Peace.